Hello programmers and welcome to the Solution Architect channel and today we're going to talk about our first application, our first program in C Sharp using Visual Studio Code. If you haven't watched the Visual Studio Code um, and installed it yet, uh, please go back to that video and install Visual Studio Code first. So let's uh, jump into this. Okay, so let's dive into Visual Studio Code. You open Visual Studio Code and I'm going to show you the easy way to create a simple Hello World application. And then what I will do, step by step, explain the structure of the project and the structure of the code. So let's go to your terminal. So I go terminal and new. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to go to my F drive. Um, and go into sorry <clears throat> that's a folder that I create specifically for this channel and I'm gonna create um, this is just to make a directory <clears throat> I'm gonna for, for projects I haven't started this is from the start projects and then see the projects. And then I'm going to create a, a folder specifically for the application we're going to create. Uh, say make directory. Um, Okay, now what's important to do? Okay, you've, you've created your folder. You want to add a, a works, workspace to, um, to Visual Studio. Now, <clears throat> what that means is just a bunch of folders and files that's grouped together. I'll show you now in a, in a minute. So you add a folder workspace. And uh, this is the one test console, so you add it. And there's nothing in there. But <clears throat> you always start with the workspace if you use Visual Studio Code. So just remember that. There's no files, no folders, nothing in there. I'm going to go back to my terminal. And now we're going to create a just the, the overall structure of everything. You don't have to go and create individual files and references and things like that. So Visual Studio gives you that opportunity to create the 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 uh, project files for you automatically. So you say .NET new console. Okay, now in your left, you'll see on your project folder, you've got a few, uh, you've got a folder in there and you've got two files in there. And I'll go through that just now. Normally what you do after you've created your application, just make sure that it works. First, .NET restore. What .NET Restore does, <clears throat> if there's any references or dependencies for your project, it will automatically um, restore that for you. Okay, so nothing really here is ju just a very simple application. Now, just without doing any code changes, let's go run it and say .NET run. And you'll see Hello World without doing any code changes. Now, I'm going to do step by step, take you through the, the folders that it, it created on the left. Okay, let me explain the structure of the program. So when you do um, run .NET new console, it generated automatically files for you on the left hand side inside your workspace. The two most important files that you need to uh, be concerned about right now for the console app is these two. The bin folder, Bin folders get created when you actually run and build your application, and that's where the DLLs will lie. Object folder is what what is referenced within your application. You don't need to go into these folders and make any changes there. And this is only for references when you run your application. 
the, these ones are the coding one. The, the test console.cs project file is will tell you um, if there's any additional applications or libraries that you reference. So if you open the CS project file, um, this will tell you that is targeted the .NET Core App 2.2 framework. Now there's different frameworks within dot, um, .NET that you can use. The .NET Core framework is specifically developed to run on any platform. It can run on Windows and Linux and Mac. And that's what's .NET Core. You also get just a .NET framework. Um, there's a .NET framework 4.6, I think, right out right now. Um, but this for this specific project, these this console application um, will use that framework. The next file you need to be concerned about is your program CS file. So I'm going to try and explain this in layman's terms for new developers. When you add a using in front of, uh, in the top of your file, that means that it reference a library. In this case, it reference system library. A system is the basis of the .NET framework. Anything that you are using within your application uh, will need a library that you need to reference. For example, if you want to say console, it needs to go to the console and, and write out Hello World. If you have not this, if you haven't got this library in here, you'll see it will give an error. the The IDE will tell you, okay, you need you need to do something because console can't can't just run on its own. It needs to come from somewhere. The .NET framework has got functionality in there that can execute certain things for you. Um, so specific, specifically, you want to use the console, and then you want to write out a line called Hello World. But you need to have a reference. If you click on this um, light bulb here, it will say, OK, you need to use add using. So either you can do that. So if you get a red line like this, click there, using, and you'll see it will add using on top there, and the red line will disappear. So it's important. And in most cases, you will have multiple usings in here that you can reference. So next, what is a namespace? A namespace normally groups a number of classes together in, in one place. Um, if you need to have, you can also have different namespaces in, in one application or not one project. But then you have to reference that specific namespace. But, but that is to group um, different classes together in one namespace. Generally, you, you'll start with one uh, namespace, and as your program grows, you'll start adding folders, and each folder will also have a namespace. It will probably be, say, for example, you create a helper folder, it will say namespace.helper. But then in that, um, if you use the helper class inside here, then you have to have a using that references that namespace. If you don't, then you can't use that classes within here. Now, next. So next, what is a class? A class in programming is normally defines a specific template or a blueprint. And when you execute the program, the class becomes an object. So what they call in, in programming languages, they, they always say an object is an instance of a class. An object is when the program runs, but a class defines what needs to happen when the program runs. For example, the next step here is you'll see static, static, and I'll, I'll get to that a little bit later in, in, my, in my videos, um, but static is something that you don't need to instantiate. It just runs. Um, this is a main method a main method is normally uh, required for the application to run it will always go to uh, the program and main method and see what's inside there what what do i need to do what we trying to do with this method is we only um, trying to write a hello world to the terminal so let's change something very simple and say hello people of this channel okay 
you can also say file and save i've got auto save um on there but uh, which is quite handy because uh, if, if you make a change it will automatically save you don't need to go to file and save um, anything can happen you can lose power or anything like that so it's always good uh, practice to save after you made a change to your code then go back to the terminal dot net run so hello people of this channel and we've just made our first change in the next video i will show you how um, to create a separate method on your own and how you can call that method from the main method thanks for watching and please subscribe and click the notification button um, for more and more videos to come